So we're looking for a house. And so let's go ahead and open up the tagging area. And now this is where you have a bunch of tags which help just further sort content. So let's look through the tag browser for something that might sound like where a house would be in. And uh, under A already, I'm seeing architecture. That sounds like something where you might find building materials for a house. So let's choose the architecture tag. And now you see this gives us a bunch of different architecture pieces um, that you can play around with. And it's uh, still quite a large variety of architecture pieces, which is great. Um, gives you a lot of options. So let's go through here and you will find within here um, the house building pieces for a more rustic look. So the first thing we want is, uh, let's go for a uh, rustic cupola. So let's hit A to bring this in. And now you have this, you can kind of move it around. And importantly, to place this, you want to hit right trigger. I know a lot of people want to hit A to place it, but if you hit A again, it's going to get rid of it and open up your menu area. So make sure that you, when you go into it, let's just go back here and pick it up again, uh, that when you want to place it, you're hitting uh, right trigger. Now, if you're on keyboard and mouse, you have a, uh, you have the ability to just go ahead and click to uh, place it. So that's, that's a bit easier. But uh, if you're using controller, you want to hit um, right trigger right now. So we're going to hit that. We're going to go ahead and place this thing. Now you have the option to place more of these as well. You'll see a new, a new hologram piece. If you don't want to place it, you're done with placing stuff. Hit B to get out of there. So we have our, our uh, beginning of our house right here. So I can uh, select it with a uh, right trigger move it around and uh, let's bring it down. So use use X and Y to bring things down um, on, on controller. If you're on keyboard mouse, you have a nice benefit when you click on something, you can just uh, move things directly on the X and Y plane right here. So we are going to go ahead and uh, move this around, um, get it to a point where it's nice and sunk into the terrain where I want. We also have a bunch of modifiers, just like how we had uh, terrain modifiers and paint modifiers. We also have prop modifiers. So that allows us to scale the prop up and down. So I want a pretty big house. Let's scale this up. Uh, I also want to rotate this a tiny bit to give, uh, to give my player the entrance right here. And uh, that, that's about good. I also want to uh, make this a red roofed thatch because uh, I have some nice red material that we uh, made in our last tutorial. So let's go ahead and, uh, and hit on the uh, right bumper to open up the modifiers and hit edit on this thing to start editing this uh, little house piece right here. So you have a brain editor, we're not going to get into that here. You have the uh, ability to swap the mesh of this thing with another object um, to replace this with another object or to clone it so you can make multiples of these. We're focusing on the properties right now. So under properties, this is where you go to change the appearance of an item. And by appearance, we mean um, the coloring or, or if something is visible or if it shows a shadow or not. So we're looking for the thatch area. So the thatching is uh, sort of the, the roof here. So let's, let's change this to, uh, to a nice dark red right here. So we're making this a, a red roofed house. So you go through each of the different color channels and kind of change around their color to something that uh, you were looking for. And here I was looking for some nice red coloring. And we have a bunch of different color channels we can change. And this gives you, you know, the more color channels, the more variety you have to change the colors here. So let's go through a few more things that you have in properties besides appearance. You can set the movement speed of something. Now this house isn't, isn't going to be moving, so let's not worry about this. For right now. You can change the combat of an item. Again, this house is not going to fight anything, so we don't have to worry about that. Sound, again, this house is not going to be making lots of noises. Um, the physics, um, you can change that on the house. For instance, if we want some crazy tumbling physics on a house, um, then you can add those to a house. You can make a house move, move around like a character. Um, but here we want a fixed house, a house that's not moving. Um, you can also change collidability to on or off, making it so you can clip through the house or not clip through the house. Uh, and then change things like its gravity factor, friction, uh, all stuff that people who took physics classes will, will get a kick out of playing around with these. Uh, the last thing is uh, you have a bunch of brain options uh, for your different objects. This we'll get more into when we go into code and brains, but just know that they're right here. So there's some things that we'll be going back to right here for uh, changing around settings of this house. But for right now, we just like this house and we like the fact that it has a red roof. So let's go ahead and add a little entrance here. We'll, we'll jump through here. Uh, and I think I found a pretty good entrance back when I was looking. Uh, yeah, a rustic entrance, that would work pretty well. So let's go ahead and uh, 
uh, move this around, bring this down, um, and there we go. We have a perfect entrance to our perfect house uh, where our character originates from. Uh, and let's say he has a good friend, um, his good friend, uh, Morble the Goblin. So we have a, a goblin right here. And as you noticed, when I was going through, uh, you have a quick select prop area uh, down here at the bottom. And you can move around uh, with D-pad left or right to go to this quick select area. So I, I use that to get to Morble the Goblin here. Uh, I'm just calling him Morble the Goblin because that sounds like a fun name for him. Uh, so we're going to drop down his friend, uh, Morble the Goblin, with right trigger. Uh, we're going to hit B to get out of this mode. And uh, let's go into him. Now let's go ahead and rename him, which I can do by either hitting Y or with a mouse keyboard, uh, selecting Goblin Bruiser. And uh, I'm going to call him uh, Morble, because uh, that's his name, Morble the Goblin. So my friend Morble is a very slow moving character. He's, uh, he's kind of older, uh, so I, I want to reflect that. So let's, let's crank down his ground movement speed uh, to something about 1.6. Uh, he doesn't accelerate that fast. Um, and you know he doesn't turn as fast. He also doesn't really jump too high. So let's make it so he jumps um, really a, a small amount. And now you notice you can also change around his flight speed, his swimming speed, a lot of different things about him. So his combat, um, let's make it so that you know he's not a great fighter. So under melee, you can choose how much damage he does. So let's say that he uh, only does about two light damage. His medium damage is only about four, and his heavy damage is only about six. Um, you can also change around his uh, shoot and throw uh, damage amounts the same way. And then under health and defense, he has a maximum health of 30. Uh, let's make it 20 so that he only really has 20 health. You can also make someone invulnerable, invulnerable immortal, attackable, and uh, make it so that they get destroyed after they die or they stay in the world just dead. And then you can also change their hit reaction so if uh, you hit them with uh, an object, they are going to react to it or they're just not going to react at all. So uh, our friend Morble the uh, Goblin seems to be all set right here. So we have Morble, we have our house, we have our character. Let's just go ahead and jump into test mode. So we're going to want to hit start. Uh, now at any point you can quickly jump in between test and edit. It's great for when you're first starting to make creations in Project Spark. Just keep on jumping in between test and edit to uh, test the heck out of whatever you're, you're trying. So let's jump into test. We're going to start with uh, our main character right here. And oh, it looks like our friend Morble the Goblin isn't such a friend. He's attacking us. Um, he has his own default brain, um, which, as you see, his default brain is, is to be an enemy of yours, not a friend. And so that's, uh, that's a bit worrying, but that is something we'll have to worry about in our next tutorial rather than, than this tutorial. So that'll about do it for the quick things you can do in, uh, in prop mode. Um, next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and jump into the brain of Morble and make him your friend instead of your default enemy. So uh, stay tuned for uh, next time. Thank <laughs> you.